I didn't appreciate life quite as much as moments after it was almost taken away. A few months ago, my hometown got hit with six tornadoes. Hundreds of people out of their homes, me and my family homeless. Up until this point, the only adversity I've had to overcome is one time a lady stole my bike at spin class. <laughs> like, no one knows how they're going to react in the face of adversity. The coping mechanism I chose was humor. Are you okay, eBay? Whoa, look at these. Look at all the trucks. Hey, hot tub guy? Yeah, I was wondering if we could get a repair guy over here just to take a quick look. Um, we're unable to use our hot tub at the moment. I thought maybe you could just come take a quick uh, twig ganders and maybe you could repair it for us. Uh, what's wrong with it? Uh, just, it's just not really running properly at the moment. It's just, um, you know, typical wear and tear. I really want to show you this, uh, this brand new renovated room with our new skylight. All right, come take a look. All right. We really, we're looking for, uh, Kind of an outside feel in this particular bedroom so we uh you know big fans of nature and we thought this would be a great opportunity to uh have the uh, the cabin outside look but also inside your house you know what i mean uh yeah the car is still for sale um just a few scratches i mean nothing that can't really be buffed right out you know um it's no longer an suv though it's a, it's now it's a it's a compact uh, Lowrider. <laughs> no one expects a tornado to come ripping up your driveway. Okay, I'm in the living room with the kids. My neighbor's pool ends in the yard, which is a pretty good indication that I should probably put on some pants. <laughs> All right, panic sets in. I grab my favorite kid. We head down to the basement, you know, the roof flies off, the swing set disappears, but they don't care, you know, because now they have a new pool. <laughs> Finders keepers. So we're insured, okay, we're taken care of. It was more of the inconvenience. Like 20 minutes before the tornado happened, I had just vacuumed. <laughs> like I'm never gonna get that time back. I'm allowed to tell these jokes because by some miracle, Zero people were seriously injured. Even my three-year-old, who puts everything in his mouth. We're talking like rocks, pine cones. You know those people who can eat a cherry and twist a knot with the stem? He'll just plow Lego in there, spit up a helicopter. <laughs> my neighbor, his house is like a complete teardown. Okay, so while it's being rebuilt, he decides to rent a place by the water. The nice, calm water to de-stress after a traumatic situation. One week ago, my hometown gets hit with flooding. Now his rental house is underwater. What did this guy do to piss off Mother Nature? Like, he must have set fire to a Tesla. <laughs> Maybe he manufactures plastic straws. I don't know. A buddy of mine's like, do you miss all your stuff? I'm like, what stuff? Like, I don't wake up in the middle of the night panicked because I can't live without my lawn mower. Like, I don't even have a lawn to mow anymore. For once in my life, I don't have things to maintain or repair. I actually feel less stressed because of it. All those things I've been accumulating over the years, they've just been distractions. You know what else is distracting? Mice getting into your house. Okay, there's holes in the house, there's mice coming in. They're getting into my protein bars. Okay, I'm setting traps everywhere, not catching anything, probably because I got a bunch of jacked mice running around the house. <laughs> Making all the girl mice feel uncomfortable. And you can't use cheese to catch these things anymore, you gotta use a plant-based protein. <laughs> I can move into any neighborhood in the city I want, I find the one that has vegan mice. Like I... That's an example of a vegan-friendly joke. And you can tell, because it's not as good as a real joke. So you can go 30 years without knowing who your neighbors are, but when a tornado puts his beer fridge into your bedroom, you become really good friends. <laughs> he's in the military, and right after it happened, you can see him running up the street in full camo like he's going to go get the tornado. 
Like, how much of a badass do you have to be to, like, your first instinct to seek revenge on a natural disaster? <laughs> like, that kind of bravery is how he's built to deal with a situation like that. When the tornado news hit the media, they really exploded the, the traumatic part of the situation. They really, you know, people out of their homes, the world is coming to an end. They're really injecting negativity and fear into the public. So I created a funny video just to make my neighbors laugh. I didn't realize that it get passed around and hit like 10,000 views in two days, putting a smile on a community's face when they needed it most. I was conditioned to put a positive spin on a negative situation. It's like my six-year-old. He was upset he had a tree in his bedroom. I'm like, buddy, you've always wanted a treehouse. <laughs> And now you're the proud owner of like 30 pet squirrels. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> humor therapy is actually practiced in healthcare. Laughter stimulates the immune system, reducing the effects of the stress hormone. So what I'm trying to tell you is I'm pretty much a doctor. <laughs> I'm not saying every situation is a laughing matter. Like in a world full of wildfires and tsunamis, it makes my tornado situation look like a light breeze. If we can condition ourselves to find the humor in situations that negatively impact our emotional well-being, we can condition ourselves to cope when the bad stuff comes in. Years from now, I'm probably going to need so much therapy. <laughs> but for now, I know that if you have your health, great relationships, and a good reason for getting up in the morning, everything else is just a distraction. You could probably read this inside a fortune cookie. But when you realize that everything you love can be taken away in a minute, your perception changes. We unknowingly take so much for granted. So why not laugh in the face of adversity? The next time life gives you trees, find a way to build your treehouse. Thank you. <laughs>